We're here with six-year NFL veteran, offensive tackle Eric Smith, yes, alum of Columbia as well. So Eric, first off, take me through for you, your journey to making the league. How would you describe that process? Kind of take me through what it took for you. Um, I hate to start off with an um. That's exactly what it's been. Uh, coming from Columbia High School in the east side of Atlanta, uh, it's definitely been a roller coaster. You've know, seen a bunch of different experiences, but myself, you know, it's been a trailblazer, very much a hike, steep journey. Uh, didn't plan to be here, honestly. This is my favorite hobby turn profession, honestly. So uh, I have a long, I have a journey. I, I got a lot to say, but it's been prosperous. It's been tedious. A lot of patience I've endured. I learned a lot about myself and apply a lot of football skills and things that I've learned just to my life as a young adult. So, uh, you know, it's... It's been journey field, I say. It's been a, it's been apparent for me. For sure. Yeah. So when you look at those lessons you have, when you come back and want to give back at a camp like this, what drives you to come and do this and work in the community? Well, first off, um, you know, we're bringing you back here today. This is the first one at my at my alum school. You know, being here my four years, uh, you know, 2000, uh, what nine through 13. You know, we didn't have guys come back, even though we had our legend, you know, rappers and entertainers like that. We you know not too many professional guys, or rather we the basketball guys, but not football guys. So um, I wanted to be a guy that I didn't see come through my school. You know what I'm saying? Uh, be a guy that didn't come talk, talk to my football team and my teammates while I was here. And it's really as simple as that, man. Be, a, be an example by being an example. You know what I'm saying? Not just being taught, but leaving my action. So this is the first. Hopefully it's a, you know, one of many, the first of many. And you know, this is the first, the first step forward. So quite a journey for you making the league. What was your welcome to the NFL moment where things kind of got real for you? Um, my first my first preseason game, uh, I was with Miami Dolphins 2017, of course. We played the Atlanta Falcons, so um, down in Miami. So that was my real introduction uh, to the league, honestly. I uh, played the home team, and I honestly just let it all out. You know, I let, let everything loose, and I just was a kid out there. And at that point, um, after the game, I was recorded the best, what, what highest P, what, PPF rating, yeah, uh, PFF. The, yeah PFF yeah. rating of that of that uh, week. So that was my introduction, just being able to do it against the home team and not being at home. It's like a chip on my shoulder and my introduction to the league as well. So uh, especially being a free agent, a lot of guys came to me afterwards just like, why weren't you drafted? So uh, you know that was just me kind of bucking at the system. So yeah, sure. yes sir. So in terms of the relationships you have here, Gerald, some of the guys that are from your area, you know, have you all stayed in touch since, you know, you both played at Columbia or what's that been like? Uh, yeah, uh, going to the recent Senior Bowl, actually, of 2017, we, I met Gerald back there, you know, uh, he graduated a year before me here at Columbia. So uh, we just more so had that camaraderie kind of brotherhood, um, you know what I'm saying, bond. I didn't get to keep in contact with him through his five years, you know, five different colleges that he attended. So uh, meeting him again in the Senior Bowl, just, you know, we, we embrace each other with just so much love just to see my brother of mutual background back in one spot and uh, realizing the, the dent that he made in NCAA sports during those years. I'm, ex you know, I'm excited. I was proud for him then and I'm even more proud of him now. So, uh, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely been a journey. And seeing other guys in, that I play high school ball with in different forms of uh, pro football now. So uh, it's been a journey. I'm proud of each and every one of those guys and we're just prime examples of what can be. Gotcha. And as an undrafted guy, what was the moment where it got real for you that you would make a roster and forge this career that you have for yourself multiple years? You said what was the moment? Yeah, what was the moment where it got real of, you know, hey, I'm going to be in this league? Uh, so my birthday <clears throat> is a hidden fact. Not really a hidden fact. My birthday is around cut day of NFL every year. So uh, going into the league as a free agent and not really knowing the impact that I had my first preseason, you know, I found out that I made the 53-man roster just by being in my team cafeteria at the right time. So you don't really get a call that you made the team. You only get a call that you were either not going to make it or probably be Peace Squad. So I was just walking around like cash with a ghost. And, um, yeah, I walked into the, what is it, the player director or the team, I think the team owner, whatever, Mike Tannenbaum. He's just like, oh, yeah, congratulations. And I said, congratulations what? And uh, he said, yeah, you made the team. And so that was it's, that's, that was my journey into the league, and that was my journey into NFL, just like being kind of clueless, but and where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So, awesome. yeah. Well, thank you for your time, and good luck with everything going forward. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for the opportunity. Great to meet you. Right, thank you. Awesome.